We get invitations to go and travel in amazing places throughout the world. But most of them have a commonality, which is a good weather, good views, and great locations. Once we go there, we're already in awe of the places. But of course, this brings a huge responsibility in what you put there. How do you affect such a beautiful landscape already? We try to see how and why people go there. And once you understand how and why, then you see that it's very, very important to give them back the feeling of being there. Be very honest. If a place is windy, if a place is hot, if a place is dense, or if a place is crowded, find ways to use this. Because the end experience has to reflect the honesty of the site, its conditions, and its parameters. Be economical, be a little bit thoughtful and controlling because just building things and bulldozing your way through, it's not always uh, the most energy efficient way of doing things. So every window that we cut from the, the concrete tanks was used as a step, was used as a furniture, was used uh, as a platform. Anything that was, that was coming out of the existing shell was somehow I would not definitely call it recycle, I would call it upcycle because you take something and you reinvent it. A visionary needs to be very positive, needs to be very optimistic, needs to have a good stamina, and needs to have a good team. It's very, very important also to be a good listener, but also be very persistent in order for him to combine being a visionary with being a maker, with being a team player. Having multiple aspects into one person is not possible. So that's where we need to have a good team. It's more about sharing a vision than focusing on one person's vision. What we try to do in the studio, we try to be a good team.